It's Tuesday. Let's get started. All right, so on the home page, you're going to go to assignments and you're going to click on Tuesday. We're going to start with let's talk about gestures. So let's talk about gestures reflection. We're going to reflect on what was the hardest gesture to make or figure out. So after we were making our gestures, we play charades and we're making gestures with our hands. We're watching the videos of other people's gestures. What gesture was the hardest for you to understand what it meant? So like every time Miss Reddy did this, did you have any earthly idea what she was doing? If I was doing this, to indicate rolling down a window. Did you have any idea that that's what I was doing? And why do you think it was the hardest to figure out? We would watch some pantomime videos and we're gonna talk about these very important pantomime people. So Marcel Marceau and Charlie Chaplin are very important pantomimers and we are going to discuss them, who they are, why they're important, and watch their videos about acting and mime so that we can develop our own acting and mime skills. Then you're gonna do a quiz called Check Yourself Gestures. You're gonna take a gestures quiz and that will be your async work for the day. Let's go on this day. So on the homepage, you're gonna click on assignment. You're going to click on Wednesday and we're going to play the Magic Lunchbox. So Magic Lunchbox is a game that we've played before. If you can't remember how to play it, it is on here for you. And it does talk about the Magic Lunchbox. So it is pantomiming different types of food. So at this point, we would go and we would watch a video called uh, use your imagination from the movie Hook and we would look at the pantomiming and we would dissect the gestures. Now we're going to describe in a discussion post called Let's Talk About It How To how to pick up a glass of water and take a drink of it. So what are the actions? Let's think about this specifically. What physical actions must you do to pick up a glass of water? So let's practice. We're gonna pretend my phone is water. Here's a glass of water. What did I do? So I reached out. I wrapped my fingers around the glass. I lifted the glass supporting its weight and I held it in the air. That's what I want. So I want you to be very, very specific. Even to go so far as to say my pinky finger touched it first as it curled around the glass. As specific as you can possibly be. Then we're going to play the warm-up game Invisible Ball. I do believe some of us have played this game before, but we will find out. Uh, this will be very interesting for us to play. So what's gonna happen is we may have online people watch the in-class people play, and then we will attempt to play it with the online people, assigning people as Victor. Um, not sure, you may have to play it separately. Online people may have to play, and then uh, in-person people may have to play. I think that's the only way that we'll be able to include everyone in the game. And then your work for today will be, you better work mind practice. So you are going to go through and fill out just the way you did in the discussion box. You're gonna acknowledge the different types of actions that you're doing. And every time you mime it, you're gonna do the different you know, aspects, maybe pick it up differently. For the assignment, you're gonna type three things that you're gonna have to consider when you're miming an object. So. After you've mimed doing it that many times, you're gonna go through and mime it over and over and over again. I want you to write down, what are the three things that are most important to consider when you are miming an object?
All right, let's go back to the slides. For Thursday, our first activity is the Padlet, and our question of the day is, tell me five things that you might forget at school. So what are five objects you might forget? And that's what we'll put on the Padlet. As always, you access the Padlet by clicking on the Padlet button. And then we will move on to doing our blank scenes. So blank scenes are a scene without um, information in them. So it is a scene that doesn't explain what you're talking about. So I, this person just says this is the worst. It is up to you to decide as a group, what are they talking about? What is happening? What is going on? What is the plot? And there's a bunch of different ones. So different groups will have different ones. And you're gonna go through and you're gonna act them out. As always, there is no right or wrong way to act it out other than to not participate or to shut down the scene that or be inappropriate. Those are really the only wrong answers. There are just better ways to do things. So you can do it and it'll work, but there might be a better way to do it. Again, it's not a right or a wrong, oops. Again, it's not a right or a wrong answer. It's just about participation. After we do that, you're going to go to the assignment, You Better Work Mind Time. This is where we are going to do the small groups. This is where we're going to talk about um, the miming. So you're going to mime something. Somebody else is going to answer. You were miming this. I knew you were miming this when you did this action. You're going to go through and everybody's going to guess a certain person's guessing. I will come and check on you as you're going. So make sure that you are participating. For mime, cameras must be on, guys. They gotta be on. They just have to be. It's not gonna work if it's not. So if I come into your breakout room and they're off, that means you're not participating. That means you get a zero. So it's very important that your cameras are on. Um, after we do that, we're gonna do the mime reflection. So what's gonna say, uh, how does your audience know what what a mimed object is? They're, you guys are gonna write about it in the discussion board based on what we've talked about so far during the class. And your async work is gonna be check yourself pantomime. You're gonna take a pantomime quiz and see how much you have learned. So you're gonna to go to the homepage and you're gonna click on assignments. You're gonna click on Friday. We're gonna look at last week's, you know, art stuff. It's gonna be awesome. There's a bunch of cool stuff. We're gonna play charades. And then we're gonna start on pantomime three. So we're gonna watch this video of Mr. Bean pantomiming. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the differences between good pantomime and bad pantomime and how to tell the difference. We're going to play a warm up game called Group Items. It is a breakout room game. So there are examples of how to do the game. We're going to critique our game that we played, see how well we did. And then you're going to do the fairy tale tableau. Now, you are going to turn this in as your choice board activity. So there is not really actually a choice this week. This takes the place of your choice board activity. All right. You're going to turn it in in that spot. Let me, go, let me rephrase that. This activity is going to take the place of your choice board. So when you go to turn in your choice board, this is the activity that you will turn in. So you're going to 
create three pictures for your story in 10 minutes. And even though one student is the director and photographer, you are still a part of the tableau. Just because you're the director does not mean you do not have to act. All right. That is not how this works. You do not get to claim, oh, Miss Reddy, but I was the director. Absolutely not. That is not how this works. All right. I am the director. Me. And even I act. So everyone acts. It's, it's not a choice. All right. Today is Friday. Today is the last day to turn in all of your assignments. Now, this assignment, this fairy tale tableau, is due on Monday, which means it will not close at midnight. Every single other assignment I have given you will close at midnight. I will not unlock it. I will not reopen it. If you are desperate and you need it reopened, you can have your parent contact me. You have had eight weeks. You have had a reminder every day, every day for the last two weeks, I have told you that it was gonna close today. There is no excuses, no excuses. It closes today at midnight. Please turn in your work. Please turn in your work. Please turn in your work. If it is a choice day activity, you either did it or you didn't. So if you have a zero, what that means, if you swear you turned it in, that means I cannot see it, okay? If you're like, Miss Ready, I turned in that choice activity. If I cannot view it, I cannot grade it. So if you know you turned it in, you need to talk to me or you need to go and look at it because I'm leaving comments on the stuff I can't see. Some people are turning in pictures and they are blank. It's just a white picture. It's just white with nothing. I can't grade that. That's not gradable. So if you're turning it in and it's not working, you need to email me, all right? It will close tonight. And that's not negotiable. All right. We would come back here and I would ask you to tell me one thing in the chat that you learned about pantomime today and one thing you still need help with. I would ask you to rate your learning one through four in the chat for me and then you would be released to do your check yourself gestures quiz well i hope you had fun today and i can't wait to see you tomorrow bye